Hi, uh, my name is Dave Casuto, and I am the director of San Francisco Computer Tutors here in San Francisco, California. Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Outlook to create labels um, that you create in Word. So you have all your addresses in Outlook, but you want to basi basically be able to send out mailing labels and uh, just link them up automatically. So how do we do that? First, of all, well, first thing we want to do is go into our contacts. We start off in our mail, but we want to go into our contacts so we can see them here. So you see here I've got three addresses that I want to be able to send. All right, so what you want to do is select all three of them. So you select one, hold down control, and then select the other two. And now they're all ready to be sent. So the next step I want to do is go up to Tools and choose Mail Merge. Okay, so once this comes up, once you click on that, this new window comes up. So contacts, only selected contacts. All right, feeds fields to merge, all contact fields. So you're basically just agreeing to that. Now the only thing you're really gonna change in this case is the document type. Not form letter, but we're gonna do a mailing label in this case, right? So it might be different for you, but we're just gonna do mailing labels for this. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK. And now it's gonna open up Microsoft Word because that's where it's going to happen. So we get this message that says Outlook created a mail merge document and prepared your contact data for you. To complete the setup for mail merges, press the setup button in section one of the mail merge helper dialog box. Okay, so let's go ahead and see where that is. Okay, so now this pops up as soon as I click on that and says the mail document in, okay, are now available. Choose the setup button to lay out your document. All right, now we don't need to click on create because we've already done that. So we're going to click setup to basically see what we have. So um, our setup now is gonna be um, what our labels are going to be, all right? So I'm just gonna choose some basic labels here. We have Avery, all right? You got all these other ones here that you could choose. We're gonna do Avery uh, 5160, which I just lost. All right, so we got Avery 5160, and then I'm gonna click OK, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click Close. All right, and you can see there's a little bit of activity going on down here at the bottom. And now, I'm gonna go over here, um, I'm in Windows 2007. Let me go ahead and maximize this so we can get a nice bigger screen here. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go up to the top and I'm going to edit recipient list. And you can see here, all three of the guys that I've chosen are right there. So you can see there's their address, there's their name, everything's all set, so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And now, just like that, the records pop up for me. Boom, boom, boom. And then we just have to fill in the rest of the data. Now um, we want to choose address block. This is how we want it to look. This is basically telling the computer that um, we want to have these different elements and you have all these different choices if you have a salutation, if you have um, something at the end. All right, this is fine. So we're going to click OK. And then it sees address block pops in here. So the next thing we need to do is do update labels. So then they all have address block there next to them. And then finally, you will go to preview results. And then just like that, you've got all your different um, labels that you brought in. Very simple, very easy, but you know, it might take a little bit of practice to get all those steps down, but you've done a pretty remarkable thing. Just imagine if you've got hundreds of these, how easy that would be just to basically transfer them over to Outlook, not have to type them all in again. So you're all set. Good luck.